art has been involved since a long time in leprosy because um, since more than 10 years we are donating the multidrug therapy for all patients in the world. And uh, from uh, that experience we know now that we decreased the number of patients with leprosy from over um, 10 million to 200,000 in the world now, which is a major success. But still the last 200,000 patients have to be found and properly treated also. The Novartis Foundation convened this meeting with the top experts in leprosy because we, we wanted to know what the best approach would be to, to fight leprosy these days. As we know from uh, the past 10 years, the, the number of new patients in leprosy has remained quite stable and we really want to see how we can curb that detection rate now. Probably for I think uh, this kind of uh, intense discussion on specific topics has been relatively uncommon uh, recently. The conclusions here will contribute to further discussions in bigger forums like the International Leprosy Congress or WHO meetings so that it will be possible to translate these recommendations into practical action over a period of time. We all had an agreement around the need to stress uh, epidemiological surveillance to stress MDT offer and I think that it's one of the it was a, a very not a common situation that researchers and field people are had an agreement around, uh, around okay, something but still it has the three years period we also invited the other disease control program managers from WHO really because we wanted to have their exp experience and expertise um, to exchange how they implemented the eradication programs and what the challenges had been in their programs in order to be able to learn from that experience and apply it eventually also for leprosy. All the rumors as, as cases. I believe one of the lessons for the uh, leprosy elimination would be the experience from the guinea worm disease surveillance. To know where the infection is occurring and then what would be the uh, best approach to deal with that beyond the ones which are already being undertaken. The role in, in this process of Novartis has to be, is coming in almost as an honest broker in the situation that's brought people together, that's challenged um, experts um, asking the questions in terms of where's the evidence, are we doing the right thing. What we would really like to do is to, to implement what we learned here today and uh, to do this in one region or one country in the world to demonstrate it is really feasible so that it can be scaled up and applied elsewhere.